Mirko, I'd like to introduce the CEO of Mobile Mini, Eric Olson. Thank you, uh, Rodney, and uh, very welcome everyone to this great event. I'm uh, really happy that we have this big, big gathering here uh, uh, this morning. Uh, and I want, want to give uh, a special uh, warm welcome here to Mayor Greg Stanton, Councilwoman Kate Gallego, other city member staff that is here. Uh, we have some members of our board of directors here. Uh, we also have uh, several of our charity partners here this morning that have allowed us to partner with them, which we're very, very proud of. Uh, so I'm very pleased to welcome St. Mary's Food Bank, you Mom, Chrysalis, Child Crisis Center, Goodwill, and, and Playworks, uh, to name a few. <clears throat> we also have a number of our corporate banking and business partners here, uh, B of A, JP Morgan, BBVA, uh, Wells Fargo, KPMG, DLA Piper, Mercer, United Healthcare, among many, uh, many others. And of course, uh, the best sports team in the Valley are here somewhere <laughs> with the Phoenix Suns. And <clears throat> they're hiding right now, I guess, after Saturday's uh, terrible, terrible loss. <laughs> so again, thank you very much to the, uh, the business-friendly city of Phoenix and its representatives here this morning. Mobile Mini is, is somewhat of a well-kept secret here in Arizona. Uh, we're local homegrown company undergoing rapid change. We've been here since 1983, and we've been growing ever since. And in fact, last year, we had all-time high revenues. We are the world's leading portable storage and specialty containment company. We have a global reach uh, and are traded on the NASDAQ uh, exchange for more than 20 years now. Uh, we have 160 branches across North America and the UK. Uh, we're going to exceed half a billion dollars of revenues this year, uh, and we have a market cap of, of close to $2 billion. What we do? Well, we rent portable storage units for temporary storage needs. We have a fleet of approximately 235,000 uh, containers in varying sizes that are used on a daily basis across any industry that you can think of. Construction sites, government, education, energy, utilities, uh, retail, automobile, et cetera, et cetera, to, to just name a few. Recently, um, we acquired a leading company in the temporary special containment area. Uh, they rent tanks for, for liquid waste and roll-off boxes for solid waste, among other things. Uh, this, this business is very similar to uh, the core mobile mini business and will add well over $100 million in revenues to us this year. In fact, I'm also very pleased to announce that roughly 30 minutes ago, we uh, announced another acquisition. We just bought a company in Scotland uh, in the portable storage business, so uh, we're expanding our footprint also in the, in the UK. Our products are unique uh, in this space. We have a patented locking system. We have strong steel construction, uh, quality appearance. We deliver directly to customers. Uh, but the one thing that really sets us apart is our people. These containers is just the, 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 the products that we do. But our real competitive differentiator is our <coughs> almost 1,900 employees now that take care of our customers on, on a daily ba basis. We have the best people in the industry. Uh, therefore, I'm also very pleased that we now have found this great new headquarters, 55,000 square foot in the middle of Phoenix for our 300 employees that, that uh, work here at headquarters. Uh, as you will see if you walk around here uh, later, we have an open floor plan. We've got the proximity to the metro light rail system. We have the airport just, uh, uh, just five minutes down the road. Uh, we got great meeting space, collaboration space all over this, this floor here, uh, as you will see. And I think this is a reflection of where we're now taking Mobile Mini as we uh, continue to uh, professionalize and mature the, the company. Best of all, of course, is that we're only a 10-minute car drive 
away from the US Airways Arena and Phoenix Suns. <laughs> So anyway, welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here this morning and sharing this, this moment with, with us. Uh, and let me now please introduce a, a good friend of mine and someone who has been instrumental in making it very easy for us to make the decision to move our headquarters here to the business-friendly city of Phoenix. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the mayor of Phoenix, Mr. Greg Stanford. All right, all right thank you, Eric. Welcome to Phoenix, welcome to Discovery Triangle, to you and the great employees here at Mobile Mini. You, ha you were right on message on everything you said, Eric, except at the very end. It's now Talking Stick Arena in downtown, not US Area. <laughs> we gotta all change our mindset. Talking Stick Arena, where the uh, soon to be world champion Phoenix Suns play their wonderful, uh, wonderful games. And Eric, we are so glad that Mobile Mini now is here in Phoenix in the Discovery Triangle that we will pursue a sister city in Sweden just for you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great to have a growing company uh, like this in an, in an industry that it really has some incredible growth, uh, uh, growth opportunities. So I know you're moving 300 employees, but 150 more are coming in the next few years and hopefully even uh, more. So we're here to service you, your employees, and to make this company as successful as uh, possible. And of course, we love your product, but more importantly, you mentioned your people. This company is committed to community. I know it. I'm out in the community all the time. And I see Mobile Mini sponsoring some of the best organizations doing the best work in this community. That's in part what makes you successful. It helps to build a corporate culture of giving back. While you're making good money, and we hope you make good money, you're also giving not just financial resources, but people, the talented people of this company, uh, to, this, uh, to this community. So your choice to support incredible nonprofits like UMOM, Darlene, good to see you. How are you? Uh, uh, the, the, the great work they're doing at UMOM and making that such a part of this culture. St. Mary's Food Bank, Habitat for Humanity, uh, the list goes, uh, goes on and on. And I really want to thank you for choosing Discovery Triangle. I see Sarah Dial here as well. Um, uh, you are right on message of the benefits of being here in the, uh, in the Triangle, a partnership between the city of Phoenix uh, and uh, Tempe uh, to really talk about the uh, attributes of this part of our, uh, of our community, so close to downtown, so close to the airport, so close to Papago Park, so close to Gateway Community Co uh, College and uh, CEI, the Center for Entrepreneurial uh, Innovation, some of the incredible assets. Ten years from now, you're going to be glad you chose this area. This is going to be a leading business, education, incubator, accelerator area uh, in this community because of the lifestyle uh, that it has in terms of the parks and amenities as well as the educational opportunities uh, and, and access to uh, great public transportation. We hope in the very near future to be incredibly growing public uh, transportation infrastructure in our cities. That is what this triangle is all about. So I think you and your employees will be the beneficiary of having made this choice and we wish you nothing but the best. As leader of the city, we are here to uh, serve. Talk about serving. The next person who's speaking uh, is someone that has uh, been on the council just a little over a year, but she has taken the bull by the horns, and she is a passionate advocate for District 8, a passionate advocate for uh, this area, the, the, the Discovery Triangle. She shares my vision. She's going to take it to a whole new level of pushing this area as a center for innovation uh, in our city, and that's my partner on the city council, Councilman Kate Gallego. Thank you, Mayor. Welcome, Mobile Mini. We are so happy to have you in District 8. I have the pleasure of representing this great community, and I want to welcome you. We are very happy to have Mobile Mini here, truly a great corporate company. While we were in the process of trying to recruit Mobile Mini here, my district had some very rough floods last summer, and although it's untraditional to ask a favor of a company while you're trying to woo them, we thought with Mo Mobile Mini's culture of service and commitment to community that it would be okay to ask them to step up and boy did Mobile Mini step up donating free storage units to people who had to move out of their homes because of the, the storms last summer. It made a huge difference. So the storage units came in and then we had two more floods and we got to field, field test the Mobile Mini product and it passed with flying colors. <laughs> a few of my constituents 
made a different choice on their brands and unfortunately their storage units got flooded. So I can personally testify how great the <laughs> system is at Mobile Mini. Um, I think that leading product will take the company and you all far and we hope to grow with you. You're moving into a great and very diverse area. There are at least 20 languages spoken in this local community. So as you grow globally, we hope that uh, that will be a great asset to you. And as you move on to places beyond our new sister city in Sweden, we will be there with you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> We also hope that you'll enjoy the great area, but I did want to offer you the tip that if uh, you're an employee in this building, recommend eating lunch early because uh, Little Miss Barbecue, which is the best new restaurant in the area, or in the community according to the Phoenix Times, they, they do sell out of brisket early. <laughs> and we were, we're near uh, Welcome Chicken and, and Donuts, and the best donuts, that which I've taste tested, it's the cherry amaretto ones, they also sell out early. So. Don't wait for a late lunch, because you can really take advantage of some of the great and very diverse restaurants in our community. And we hope you'll take the light rail as you get there. I was excited to hear that one of the reasons Mobile Mini picked this area was because of the diverse transportation options. The mayor and I both share a vision of expanding our light rail system, and so many of the companies that have chosen our community have listed the light rail as one of the reasons they're here. So we hope that you enjoy that and, and take advantage of the system. We are also a proud customer at the city of Mobile Mini and have been using the products at, at our various facilities with great pleasure and we hope to continue to doing that. It is a great product and we are glad to have you in our city. We look forward to this continued partnership and now let's cut that ribbon. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one.